Hello, you are watching the September 2015 Healing Arts um, Center Practitioner Interviewer uh, hanging out in the Buddha Bar today with Melissa Lapidus, who is an emotional energy healer trained in integral counseling psychology. Integral psychology counseling? You got I got it. it. Integral counseling psychology. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh -huh. Which actually has its basis in Sri Aurobindo's work, who's one of the great... Um, philosophers and teachers of the yoga tradition historically which is such a um, kind of a preeminent figure in the in the yoga tradition and so it's really amazing to be able to have like a yoga based counseling offered at Kula. I'm really excited about it and I want to give people a chance to, to get to know you and get a sense of if um, working with you would, would serve them with whatever's going on in, in, in their lives and maybe connecting it to their, their practice in yoga and also just a chance to get to know you know know you. I know you've spent um, the past year or so, is it, in Mexico, and uh -huh. I'm sure a lot of that has informed your work and in bringing um, spirituality into your counseling. I know it's something that's important to you. So I want to give you a chance to um, talk a little bit about that so maybe you could describe your work, um, give people a sense of what it's all about. Absolutely. Um, so I guess my work somehow relates to yoga as the inner practice of yoga. It's about finding inner alignment. And so, you know, if you're in a yoga pose and you're trying to find, um, you know, find that pose and really step into it in order to be fully aligned, it's the same thing that's going on internally. And so what I help people with is to kind of fine tune where they're um, out of alignment internally. And so, what that means is looking at places that need to be cleaned up inside. Um, since we're little children, we take on certain ways of thinking or certain thought processes that sometimes play, well oftentimes, play on autopilot and we're not even conscious of them. And we want to be creating something in our life However, what's going on in our unconscious is conflicting with exactly what we want to be creating. Mm -hmm. So we only are conscious of about 5% of what's happening in our behaviors, in our actions, um, in our words, because we're repeating the things that we've learned since childhood, or even before, even coming through us in the womb. We take on patterns of our parents. and so. My work is about really looking into the unconscious to see what people are holding there mm -hmm. and helping them shift and align what's happening first to bring up what's going on in their unconscious into their consciousness. Mm -hmm. And then from that space of awareness, helping them bring it to neutral and then hopefully to positive to be able to really step into what they want. I think that um, this is a lot of law of attraction work too. However, I think with law of attraction, um, something that's often left out is that it's not just about thinking about what we want, it's about holding what we want, holding energetically what we want inside. Mm -hmm. And so if we have these thought processes or energies that are playing in our unconscious, that's what we're going to be attracting because, like I said, that's 95% of what, what's going on with us. Mm -hmm. And so we want to, we want to create 100% of what we want by bringing this unconscious stuff up and saying, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that's what I'm holding inside. Mm -hmm. And then shifting it. And the way that I help people shift it is um, through attuning vibrationally to what they want. And that means stepping into the energy of what they want, letting go of the old energy through breath, through awareness, through um, body movement, sometimes through hands-on if necessary, um, and then helping them really step into what they want um, and feel it in their bodies and hold that space. It's like stepping into the pose in yoga, you know, in asana and really holding that space to bring the energy to it.
And so we constantly want to be holding this space and attunement to mm -hmm. what we want to create and, and have awareness of that. Like, are we, are we in that space or did we just get knocked out of that space? Mm -hmm. And so my work is to help people really hold that positioning to receive what it is that they want to have in their life. Yeah, I mean, I, I love that you're just speaking directly to what is really the fundamental issues within not only each of us, but our whole world, because everything that we create externally is such an, you know, an extension of what's happening internally until we clean out um, these patterns and become present to them. How are we going to shift anything? And so I think it's a, a sounds like really beautiful and necessary work, and I'd imagine Maybe you could speak to this, though, in terms of somebody considering whether it would make sense to work with you. It sounds like it's the type of work that isn't just like, I'm suffering in, in, a, in, a, in a really deep way and need um, some help to come out of it and to kind of make the unconscious conscious, but also just if you're already in that neutral state, it sounds like um, this would really be something that sounds like a yoga practice, that it's just a way of maintaining and deepening and ever expanding our mindfulness of our own conditioning you know, creating new new ways of perceiving our situations it's like those old patterns where maybe they did serve you when you were younger you know the coping Absolutely. mechanisms mm -hmm. like relearning yeah. um, can you tell us how you like maybe just give people for the last few minutes like a sense of you personally and like what drew you to this work I think I always had this voice in my heart of like, I don't know, like, is there something more? Like, what's life all about? Um, there's more to know. Like, mm -hmm. and I just started listening and listening and listening to that voice, and it's taken me on such an incredible life path and journey. Um, and every time I, I got rid of another layer, the voice became stronger and stronger and stronger. Um, until I really learned to step into that voice. And that voice, I think, is, is my intuition and my direct connection with Source. Um, and now I let that voice kind of guide me. Um, and like you said, I spent the last year in Mexico um, just really slowing down my life, living in a, a little Pueblo, and learning to really tune in to that voice, to that space, to that... Um, ability to be able to see things deeper, um, hear things deeper, feel things deeper, um, and be in touch with these other senses that I don't think uh, we're attuned to when we're so busy or our old patterns are playing. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that I really wanted to, to bookmark and strengthen mm -hmm. in my life and to be able to help others do the same because it's... Um, it's like taking control of your life in a way mm -hmm. and stepping into your power and your potential as a human being and it feels amazing. <laughs> mm, that's so fantastic yeah. and I'm wondering too just again people may be curious um, individuals, couples, groups, is there certain ways um, you, you prefer to work with people? You know it usually comes down to each individual like I love even seeing families people say they have issues with their kids and yet it's all a system, right? Mm -hmm. All of our energy affects others' energy. So mm -hmm. I do like to look at people individually, and I can work with families, with couples, and see kind of where each person's energy is. And if, if everybody is aligning, then everything mm -hmm. flows more easily. Yeah, it's like when one person's issue is set off, it triggers the other person's, and then it's <laughs> this whole like domino totally. effect. Yeah. Totally. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for you know being here and being part of Kula. If you'd like to um, talk to Melissa more about her, her work and her sessions, you can find out information on our website on the Healing Arts um, Center page under the um, Practitioners, and you can read more about her work as well. There's a bio on there, and I believe your phone number is probably on there as well, yeah. so they can contact you, because for this sort of work, they may want to talk to you before booking a session. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Happy to have you here. Thank you. Yes, indeed.